How can you implement responsive design in Tailwind CSS? Well, in today's video, that is exactly what you're going to learn. And this is video number four, I believe, of my Tailwind course. So if you're not familiar with Tailwind at all, maybe go into my overview video first it might be a good idea just to gain an understanding of how this is all kind of working. But today we're going to cover responsive design and I am going to be using the website that I created. You can run this website yourself as well by going to the GitHub link below and then running npm install and npm run dev. And you should see this website at your local host 3000 here. And I'm on my responsive design page. So for responsive design within Tailwind, all utility classes in Tailwind can be applied conditionally at a certain breakpoint. And a good thing to note is that this works for all utility classes. So it works for color, it works for spacing, it works for position, flexbox, all of these can be applied conditionally at certain breakpoints. And Tailwind will give you five different breakpoints by default. So out of the box, it will give you these breakpoints and you use the colon prefix at the start of a class to add the breakpoint. And Tailwind is mobile first, meaning when you apply a breakpoint to a class, and I'm gonna show you examples of all this here in a second, that class will be applied at the breakpoint and above. This means that you will use unprefix classes for mobile and prefix classes for larger sizes. So by default, when you apply a class to a certain HTML element, that is going to apply to your mobile styles or to mobile screens. And then if you want to adjust those styles for larger screens, that is where you're gonna add breakpoints. So let's actually go to VS Code here. And this is on my in my responsive folder in my app directory of this project that exists on GitHub below. And this is actually a Next.js project. So this is React here, which is why you see the class name attribute instead of class. But if this was just normal HTML, you would just see class here. And within this page.jsx file, let's go ahead and for this H2 here. So this H2 is what you're seeing on the screen right here for responsive design. For this H2 here, Let's go and add and change the color here using a breakpoint. So before I get to that, let's actually look by default, the breakpoints that Tailwind gives you, and this is the Tailwind docs here at tailwindcss.com forward slash docs forward slash responsive hyphen design. You can see that by default, they give you an SM breakpoint, which is going to be 640 pixels, which is the same as using a media query min width 640 and then MD which is 768 pixels LG which is 1024 pixels XL 1280 pixels 2XL 1536 pixels so if you wanted styles that only applied on very large screens above 1536 pixels you'd use the 2XL prefix but if you wanted to apply styles on more moderate size screens above 640 pixels you'd use the SM prefix. So let's go ahead and show you how this works. So for my responsive design, let's go ahead and change the color on, let's just do medium and above screens. So I'm gonna do MD colon, and then I can use any class that I want to. So in this instance, I'm gonna do text, red, and I believe 600. So this is gonna make my text red, on screens are, are at that medium breakpoint and above. So if I come back to my web browser here, you see that my responsive design header, it is now red because this screen is above my medium breakpoint. But if I inspect, you see that when I just initially inspect here, it actually goes back to white because I am now below that medium breakpoint. But if I widen this out a little bit, you see that once I pass that certain pixel number, it does indeed switch to red. And then if I use a smaller breakpoint, so let me use SM colon text red, you see that it's now still red and I have to go a little bit smaller for it to then apply those red styles. And then let's do XL here, and I have to make the screen fairly large before I see my red 
text. And I'm actually going to have to go to full screen here. And that's where I see my red text. So you can apply these styles conditionally at a certain breakpoint using different prefixes right before the class. And this works for all classes. Within Tailwind, you just use SM, colon, and then your class name if you want it to apply at the small breakpoint and above or LG or XL or 2XL. And that's how you can apply breakpoints within Tailwind. Now, as for a couple of other things to note regarding this, you can also target breakpoint ranges. You can do this by using a breakpoint prefix and then adding a hyphen max colon and then using another breakpoint. For example, you can do MD colon max hyphen XL colon text red 600 and that will make the text color red between the medium and XL breakpoints. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this class here. And how about for this paragraph, I'm going to do class name is equal to, and then we're going to do instead of MD hyphen XL, let's just do SM hyphen LG. I think that'll be easier for us to see. So what I'm saying here is I want to apply or I want to make this paragraph text red when I am between the small and large breakpoints. So on an extra large screen, this text should be white. And when I'm below the small breakpoint, it should also be white. So if I come back here, you can see on this extra large screen here, the text is white. I don't see this red color. But when I make this a little bit smaller here, you see that my paragraph text turns red and then it turns back to white here. So it's red, white, white, red. So you can see I'm targeting a range by using the syntax of SM colon max hyphen LG. And I could also use MD here. So here you could see it's only showing when I'm at like within the small breakpoint. It's not showing below it and it's not showing above it. So when I hit medium, it also doesn't show. So it is exclusive, inclusive then exclusive. So this is a way to only target the small breakpoint. So it includes the small breakpoint, but it excludes the MD. So when I have it set to large here, it's gonna show at small and medium breakpoints, as you can see here. So that's how you can target ranges within your Tailwind styles. Now. What if, what if you don't really want to use these default breakpoints? What if you want to customize that? Well, you can do that within your tailwind config.js file, and you can use theme.screen to replace and not use all default breakpoints, or you can use theme.extend.screens to only replace certain defaults. If we go to our tailwind.config.js file, what I can do here is if I do, so I have this theme property within my Tailwind configure. If I do screens and then I set, let's go ahead and set SM and let's just set that to like 500 pixels. Since I didn't include screens within my extend property here, this is actually going to remove all other breakpoints. It's only going to define the small breakpoint. So now Tailwind doesn't know about if I change this to a medium breakpoint here for my H2, and I'm going to remove this class just to focus on one thing here. If I put this MD breakpoint here, well, since I replaced all of my breakpoints using screens, it's actually never going to change this text to red because it doesn't know about that breakpoint anymore. But since I did define the small breakpoint, so I define this small breakpoint here. If I change this to SM, and then I come back here, you're going to see it is now red until I get below the small breakpoint, which I set to 500 pixels, which you can see in my little counter up here. Once I go above 500 pixels, it does indeed turn it to red. But like I said, since I used theme and I didn't extend, I just used screens. Since I didn't define a medium breakpoint or an XL breakpoint or anything else, 
if I use the MD prefix, it's not going to ever apply these styles because that breakpoint doesn't exist. So if you want to add all of your own, then I would use theme and then just set a screen property within this. But if you want to only customize a couple of breakpoints and then use the default breakpoints for everything else, then you want to add the screens property within your extend object here. So I have extend, so theme.extend, and then within my extend here, I'm gonna add my screens property. So now I'm adding small of 500 pixels. So all I'm doing now is instead of having my small be 640 pixels, I'm just customizing the small to be 500 pixels. But all of these other breakpoints here, they still exist because I added my screens property within my extend object here. I didn't just do it right within my theme here. So now if I use the MD here, we should see that it still, it still works and we do see it does. So MD still works as we would normally expect because my default medium breakpoint is still applied. And then if I switch this to SM, we should see that my custom breakpoint, it also still works. So once I get below 500, it should no longer show. And we do see that my custom breakpoint still works. So if you just want to customize a couple of breakpoints, then you're going to want to use theme.extends.screens. So you're going to want to place your screens object within theme.extend. But if you want to replace all default, then you just do theme.screens. So you put your screens object within your theme directly, not within extends. So that is how you can handle responsive design within Tailwind CSS. Hopefully you enjoyed this and learned a lot from it. But in my next video, we will get into some more customizations of what you can do within Tailwind CSS. So thanks for tuning into this and I'll see you in that next one.